Good morning, you guys. So, I figured since I'm up, I might as well go ahead and do this video. Um, I don't know which thumbnail I'm going to use. I pop, If my uh, iPad wasn't dead, I would queue up all the pages. Um, first of all, some revelation of this dream with Russia has been coming <sighs> out in the last... 48 hours before I talk about that uh, I started watching Kevin Baker's video and because the title caught my attention he put it out yesterday I'll leave it below but the question was the weirdness around the royal wedding and what's happening in the skies or with planes so I finally finished watching it this morning um, and apparently another incident with windows and somebody getting sucked out of them. Uh, what do you call it? Shushuan Airlines in China. A co-pilot got sucked out of a airplane. But I think he was pulled back in by his pilot. And he, Kevin Baker, rose the question. What's happening at the altitude of 32,000 feet in our atmosphere? What's causing? He, under, he said he understands that. You know, windows and planes get old, but is there something happening at us at 32,000 feet that is causing these planes and these windows to crack and people to be getting sucked out of it? You guys, I don't know, but I'm going to look up all those other stories. He did present them, but he didn't say what altitude uh, the last two having to do with Southeastern Airlines. Um the Lord's bring my attention to this for a reason. If you guys remember, I put out that video on uh, the cracked window, basically, and people being sucked out of it or portals. Also, I should say the, the windows and something to do with portals. Okay, you guys, so um, maybe the atmosphere is changing and uh, I don't know. I don't know what to think of it yet, but so... My girlfriend, today's my first weekend off since, I can't tell you. I've been working every weekend, and uh, when my alarm went off, because my alarm goes off, I have it set for weekends also, I realized I was off, so I shut it off. Well, my girlfriend started texting me. She's up watching the the, uh, the royal wedding. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's 7 o'clock, and it's raining, and it's dark perfect time to get a little extra sleep couldn't do that so I started fumbling I texted her back and I started fumbling for the remote and for whatever reason and wouldn't pick you know I don't know if I was still half asleep but my tv was on HBO and this movie still might be on it is war games and I just happened to wake up and you know was kind of groggy or whatever but when I looked at it and was trying to change the channel, and it wouldn't let me change the channel, it's a clip, and I'll leave it below, of the guy talking to the computer and said, uh, or oh, the computer said, do you want to play a game? He said, yeah, what about uh, thermonuclear war? And on the computer, he said, well, the computer says, well, what about just a simple game of chess? And he says, no, I want to play, you know, thermonuclear war because I might have seen this movie I don't know it was made back in 1983 so probably not um I mean I might have seen it like after I was three years old in 1983 or 1993 whatever I think it's 1983 maybe it's 1993 anyway the computer draws a map of the United States and Soviet Union so maybe it was 83. Soviet Union, which is Russia. And the name of the movie is called War Games. And they're talking about missiles and he done hacked into the, the system and all that good stuff. Okay. This is some of the revelation I'm starting to get on the dream. So then I come downstairs, which I'm downstairs now. I said, well, let me put on the royal wedding. Well... I, I put it on where Meghan and Prince Henry 
are getting into the carriage. You guys remember I had that carriage in that war dream having to do with Russia. It was at the end. Okay? But Sherry had did a lot of study, and apparently this is traditional. This is um, a Hebraic tradition where the the groom goes after having prepared a place for the wife or the fiance, he goes to send a carriage or chariot to the bride's house to go pick her up so they can get married. So that's the good news, okay? <laughs> I didn't know that, but she researched it. I think Amanda had uh, something to do with that also. Uh, she had a dream that relates to that particular tradition. And yesterday, let me see. One more thing, you guys. Two more things. Yesterday, Dabu put out a video about Russia's basically bragging on their uh, bomber and missile technology or their nuclear uh, technology and how, he, when he said high tech, I remember seeing something high tech in our skies. Okay, you guys? But just the thumbnail kind of caught my attention too. Um, they have the technology that was going to sustain them. And I guess they're, you know, they're bragging on the fact that they've got this high tech technology. Apparently we have it also. I believe China does too. But uh, this is the second time that Russia's put out something um, concerning these. I think it, the first one was they said that they had like these invisible missiles. They're not invisible, but they're supposedly fast enough to where they can hit their target and not be intercepted. They call them invisible. And I'll leave his, his link below. That was yesterday. And one more thing, day before yesterday, I was watching Planet of the Apes and a maybe Infinity War. I don't remember. I've always wanted to see it. I do like the series. Um, I have HBO only, basically, as far as movie channels. And I just happened to catch it the day before yesterday. There's a scene where the military is coming in and um, at this little, you know, basically FEMA camp looking thing where they have the apes at. And these planes and helicopters and stuff are being um, intercepted by the camp. And the fire coming down and Caesar running through the little yard and kind of dodging the the fire made me think about that dream, you guys. Not to compare myself to an ape. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was, that, when I saw that, it reminded me of the dream. And Caesar got hit with a, uh, with a, what you call it, an arrow. But he didn't die until he got to safety, not just himself, but until he got all the other apes to safety. I believe that was kind of symbolic, you guys. Um, one more thing, the royal carriage. I think I may have already talked about it, but I looked it up on YouTube. And like I said, I, it just reminded me of that carriage. I didn't realize that I would have been up looking at this thing at, what, 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, but I think it was meant to be because that's good news, you guys. I think we're going to see a little bit of something. We're going to be protected. Uh, God's going to cover us. He's not going to forsake us just because we start going to war. God forbid anybody die, but are you going to die in Christ? You know what I mean? I think we'll be safe. We might see a little something. But like a lot of people believe, when the bombs come down, we go up and, um, I meant to do a, a, a video on that carriage because I didn't, I didn't um, look it up. It was Sherry's job. Maybe I'll, I'll just leave her video below. Okay, you guys. God bless y'all. Look like Russia. Just look like Russia. Even that plane and Dabu's thumbnail looks kind of similar to the, to the one I posted, but not. It's it's kind it's a bomber. It's a bomber. It's, it looks similar, but it's a bomber, you guys. Okay, you guys. Um. That's it. I'll leave all links below. Maybe I can find the Planet of the Apes. I guess it might be Infinity War. Um, we ain't here. We ain't gonna be here to fight no Infinity War. We're going home for, you know, during the tribulation time. And then, you know, during the battle of Armageddon. 
<laughs> we come back. We leaving here. Okay, you guys? God bless you.